Okay, we're live. Oh, Francis! Okay, hello! Oh, it's okay, no worries! <laughs> yes, good evening, everyone. We have Francis here. Okay. Oh, I can hear myself, sorry. Okay, cool. Yes, how are you, Francis? Ah, uh, very well, we thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yes, yeah. very well. Today yeah. I see blue skies and really affects the uh, well, mm. emotion, doesn't it? I oh, really, you're so right, especially if you're out in the countryside. Um, yes. Mm. Mm, it's really nice. In London, it's uh, slightly different, but of course we're all in lockdown, aren't we? Yes, uh, we are. People mm. in Japan are in lock lockdown. Well, it is not exactly a lockdown. It is to do with the uh, constitution, constitutional issue that yeah. uh, basically they can't, the, the government cannot really lock down people. Okay. Oh. So what they do is that, uh, okay, we recommend yes. you not to go out. So please okay. stay home. So yes. there are people have been naughty. <laughs> okay all right yes yeah. little bit yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. all right okay now uh, uh today what would you like me to do am i talking to people who are from different nationalities am i talking to people from japan or... yes mainly people yeah. from japan and in japan and uh, some of them would be um interpreters some okay, of okay. them would be um bilingual mcs Okay. So Perfect, yes, yes uh, for them. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yes, and oh, sorry. Are we, are we live sorry. now? Sorry. Are yes, we... we're live. Yes, we're live. So, so they they can hear us. Yeah, everybody can hear us. Yes, they should be Lovely. able to hear us. It's just I haven't uh, picked up any comments yet. Oh, don't so worry about the comments. Me... I mean, we can okay. uh, we can just uh, go on. I'm going to. Um... Shall I start? Yes, please. Okay, all right, lovely. So um, what's happening at the moment here in the UK and I think mostly all over the world is that we're in a lockdown situation. So our voices uh, are sort of, it's quite nice actually to get to know your voice more intimately uh, in these times when we have, we have more time to rest and we have more time to actually listen to ourselves. Everything slows down a little bit people are starting to listen to other people more clearly. And it's a good time to, if you are uh, learning English as a second language and, and learning pronunciation, it's a good time to perfect this. But first and foremost, you have to make sure you've got a healthy voice. Right. And uh, one of my favorite exercises for this is, and, and I, I, it's so good to work on it and it hydrates your voice as well. But these are your vocal folds here. Mm -hmm. So if you just put your fingers here, like so, yes. Yes. and you just say ah for as long as you can, but don't run out of breath. Before you run out of breath, just stop saying the sound. So it goes like this. Uh, uh, very nice. Uh, yeah. Yeah, what that, I'm listening to you. I can't listen to anybody else at the moment, but on listening to you, yeah, I think what's happening is that you've got a good, soft, but a nicely uh, connecting vocal fold. When the vocal folds vibrate, they adduct or they come together and the motion is like that. Very, 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 very fast. And if there is any bump in that R sound, like, Ah, uh, or even just a slight change, then then we can say that the the the, the vocal folds perhaps need a little bit of attention. Right. But never worry about that because if you if they ever if people ever want to get in touch with me, you know I have three or four, as you know, really excellent people um, that I talk to all the time who understand the physicality and the biology of it. But it's it's really nothing to worry about. But it's, that's the way to check mm -hmm. your voice if it's secure. Sometimes we get dry. So what happens is 
with your vocal folds. If you yes. get by, this is a lovely little exercise. Yes. Tell me, can you see me okay? <laughs> yes. Yes. This is a straw. Uh-huh. And this is a glass of water, which is just a little bit full. Yes. Right. So what I'm doing is I'm going to put my straw in the water here. Yes. I breathe out, breathe in, and then I just breathe into the straw. As soon as my breath runs out, I stop. And I like people, I like the clients to do this maybe uh, throughout the day, but two or three times a day. It's also fun. And once you've mastered that, you go on to actually making uh, a little song through the straw. Uh, I do oh. say to you, yeah, that's it. So first of all, I'll just demonstrate the first one, okay? I hope everybody mm -hmm. <laughs> next time. Yes, they're saying con um, konnichiwa <laughs> as in like, hello, thank you very much. We're really looking forward to it. Yes, sorry. Okay, so are they not watching yet? They are watching. They are watching oh, and lovely, sending lovely. comments. Okay. Yes. Okay. Akiko so and Yayoi. Let, yes. Let's, let's really leave those. To, yeah. Okay. Leave those to the end. You're right. Okay. So here we go. Okay. So that's the, the first thing to do. The main thing is not to push it. If I pushed it, uh, some of my, my, my acting people, they like yes. to show off and blow up for about, you know, the count <laughs> of a minute or two minutes, um, okay. in which case they are, you know, they, they're pushing it. That's not the idea. The idea is to just really kind of act. Did we ever do this exercise? No, we didn't. Or maybe oh, okay. I just didn't remember, but uh, yes, yeah, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah, okay. So the next one is what we do is you sing happy birthday in the straw. Now this is really, really useful if you've ever had a sore throat, if you're an interpreter and you're overworking, if you're mm -hmm. a mother with children and will not behave and you have to keep telling them. But if, if anybody who lives in a dry environment, it's really good. So here we go. I'm just gonna have a go at this. Okay, all right. I, I wish uh, everybody watching really good health and good vocal health. But if you ever should need a little bit of help, this is the one for you. This, this really will mend your vocal fault. So the next thing really? is... Mm. Let's just have a hum. Taking my right hand, I'm going to go from low to high. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And down. Mm -hmm. And up again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and down again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, if you possibly can, have a yawn. <laughs> that's great oh, that's lovely. okay well done and if you have any tension in your jaw just gently stroke the jaw down like so that's it very gently long strokes excellent that's good and then just get your thumbs and just that's it. Put them at the end of your fingers like so. Like that's this. Different. Yeah, just okay. there. And then just yes, allow I your jaw to stay there and just lift the top of your jaw away. Okay, so it's like this. Ah, Okay, keep your chin down. Keep, mm -hmm. keep your Chin okay. down. Keep it here, yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So keep the chin down. You can mm -hmm. look, but you don't really need to. The idea uh -huh. is just, that's it. That's it. Uh-huh. Opening the mouth upwards rather than downwards. It's not the mouth. It's the, the jaw. The jaw. Sorry, so jaw. It's kind okay. of like the, 
the skull. This is the top part of the skull. Mm -hmm. Just this bit here. And yes. just here is the hinge. Yes, that's right. And this, this is the bit that gets tense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to stroke this down here like so. Stroke, yes. stroke, stroke. That's lovely. And then just stroke along your forehead here like so. That's lovely. Mm -hmm. Take your hands out. Take all the tension out of your hands. That's it. Very good, very good. And now we just set up a little bit of a hum and this will just clear the nasal passages and under here, especially at this time of year when pollen's around, mm -hmm. sometimes need to just clear out all the sinuses here. So yeah. if we just tiny, tiny circles going around, so it's over the eyebrows. Lovely. Over the nose. Over the mouth. Under the mouth. Feel your teeth starting to vibrate. Back of the ears. Back of the ears. Ah, back of the ears. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's all right. That's lovely. And then shake your hands out again. That's lovely. Now, you told me, Ria, that you're, uh, there are some people in Japan that are learning English. Yes. Um, yes. So I'm going to uh, give a few tips uh, about that. Now, um, most of my clients at the moment, we're working on the inside of the mouth. Because if you can sense the inside of your mouth, then you are starting to feel the way the sound is made. You can see the way the sound is made. Um, I think I've got some diagrams here that uh, I think should be at the bottom of my screen. I don't know, they seem to, let me have a look here. Yes, so if you can, uh, have a look here. Yep, this is the one I'm looking for. Whoops, that's it. Can you see this? Yes, I can. Yeah. Lovely. So as you can see there, this is Gabriella, uh, an interpreter. And you will see that her mouth changes and her tongue pretty much stays in, a, in at the front of the mouth. The tongue for the vowel is always, the tongue tip is always, as you know, Ria, at the behind the bottom teeth, but mm -hmm. the tongue rises with different sounds. Now, my clients at the moment are finding the tongue vowels, the uh -huh. single tongue vowels, solid sounds, uh -huh. you know, perhaps the most challenging to do. So the You're first right. thing to do is to feel the space in the back of the mouth. And also, uh, I haven't got mine with me, but I'm gonna use the phone. Always have a mirror handy. So yes. that you can at the same time emulate what Gabriella's doing here. Well done, well done, that's lovely. Um, I'll just, have I got one? No, I'm gonna use them, I'm gonna use my, yes. my, my mobile. All right, so my compact. Yes. if we look at the back of the mouth here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, we, you will be able to see, if you feel the back of the mouth, you'll be able to feel, this is the pharynx here. Uh -huh. All these sounds, the a, ah, the e, eh, the i, the e sounds, are made it, where it feels like it's the back of the mouth. In fact, it's where the tongue rises at the back of the mouth. Okay. So let's just give the, the tongue. Back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the tongue just here. Um, I'll just uh, bring up this other diagram so you can, no, I can't do that now. 
uh, let me put this here and where are you? No, no, can't do that. Can you see me? I can see you. Yes, I can okay. see the diagram uh, of this. Can you? Um, can you see the diagram? No, it's the uh, tongue vowels. It's like a single uh, uh, vowel. Okay. You can see those, can you? Yes, I can. Oh, brilliant, 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 one, brilliant. One under that yeah, one. Yeah, okay, that's great. So I couldn't mm -hmm. see that for a minute, but mm -hmm. I suspect that I might be able to do it now. All right. So uh, I've lost a diagram, but it doesn't matter. I will find it again. <laughs> Gosh. So with this this sound here, so we have a nice good yawn. Boys have a good yawn, and this opens the back of the throat. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, very nice, yes. lovely. And always check that your neck is nicely relaxed. So gently just place your head on your chest like so. And gently rotate round to the left. To the left. Yes. And then round to the back. And over the shoulder like so. And then down back on the chest. Okay. I would recommend that you do it the other way mm -hmm. and a lot um, because if you have any tension, there is nothing worse than a neck, the other uh, a neck that hurts. Fortunately, mine's not too bad today, but this is a great one for pulling. Mm. Yeah. Like this. Uh, that's right. And then the other way, hand over face. That's it. Pull it there. That's good. Okay. Excellent. I actually do some of these exercises in the booth, interpreting booth. It really oh, helps. Good. good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. People set your uh, mind at ease you. and yes, mm. kind of relaxes and just switches. Switches exactly, off, yeah. on and off. Yeah. It's, it's exactly. Mm. I think um, if this is really a really uh, very useful and that's why I, I continue to work with interpreters because they are they do find uh, it, the exercises very very useful and I find it when I'm working myself uh, mm -hmm. it just calms me down and relaxes me before yeah. uh, I, I do work in interviews okay so let's start when the mouth is very very high up a lot of clients say to me I get mixed between the uh I get mixed up between the uh, the o, uh, and the neutral vowel uh. Some people call it the schwa. So All right. I then mm -hmm. just sort of this. So this is an exercise to 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 help you learn the difference. Yes, and I was doing that this this morning. So I would try and keep this fresh. So really, at the back of the mouth, keep the mm -hmm. tongue down as low as possible. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. It's a little bit lower at the back of the tongue. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. That's it. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. And it's that sounds a little bit schwa, but we'll just take it a little bit lower. There's a dip there. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Sun. Sun. Lovely. One. One. Under. Under. Very nice. So this a uh sound is perfect, but it's the one that people always get stuck on. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah, That's it's really so nice. open and it's very standard English. So uh, in other words, it's it's the, the top standard English way of speaking. And right. a lot of it has sort of disappeared now. Uh, but if you're going to learn standard English, you may as well learn it the right way and then change it and adapt it if you want. So if we look at some words like uh, umbrella. Yes. Yes, and I, then you make up a little sentence like, let's have fun under the umbrella. Let's have fun under, eh? Let's have fun under the umbrella. That's it, under. Under. That's it, and so, we then have this very nice large sound that's in the mouth. So after this, we can go anywhere. Once you've, once you've cracked this vowel, you can go anywhere because this sound is 
throughout the speech. Are you coming? Are you coming? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, um, but is it today? But is it today? Are you coming today? Are you coming today? That's it. But is it today or tomorrow? But is it today or tomorrow? That's it. But. But. That's it. So it's a bigger sound. But. But. That's it. That's it. So that's why it's. <laughs> and, and there are many, many words in English that have this sound. Uh, the other one is mother. Mother. Yes. Is mother under the tree? Is mother under the tree? That's it. I mean, it sounds, that doesn't sound a good sentence. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. Is mother sitting under the tree? Ah, okay. Is mother sitting under the tree? Yeah, well done. So all of this is about opening the mouth. And okay. the back of the mouth uh -huh. is, uh, I really would love to, to show you this diagram. Uh, let me see if I can see if yeah. I can it. here. Um, it's called Word. Can you remember? It was the one I brought up before we went. Uh, the one with a profile, wasn't it? Yeah, that's it. I've got it here. No, I don't see that. You'll probably have to switch the screen that you're okay. sharing to. Sorry, could you? That's all right. That's all right. So I'm going to bring it down here like so. Oh, I know where it is. I know where it is. Excuse me. Yeah, that's it. Can you see it now? Um, Can you share? No, at the moment, I don't know exactly what you have to do. I put it on now. Yeah, I said share. Um, you are sharing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you see um, it? No, it's the same same one, same slide. We see the tongue okay. bowls was in like a single. Oh, okay, so um, I've got it. Uh, I've got new share. Okay, and I'm going to move that, and I'm just going to do that. Is that better? Oh yes, we see it. Oh, we see terrific. That. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, everybody at home. But uh, it's just this bit here that I want you to see. Uh -huh. The bit mm -hmm. at the back of the mouth, yes? Yeah. So this mm -hmm. is the area that we're working on. This is where the tongue is really low. It's really low for uh. Uh-huh. Uh. Uh. That's right. This is where we say sun. 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 A hundred. A hundred. Huh, huh. Hundred, yes. Yes, and under. Under. Yeah, that's great. So the tongue is nicely flat when we're saying it. The problem is right. with many languages that are very much to do with resonance in the in the nose. Yeah, yeah. mouth. This this here, which yeah. we get here, yes. This phelum, the soft palate, can sometimes mm -hmm. you get, stay in one place because if you are brilliant as you are, Bria, and the people watching, brilliant to have a, a, a first language and then to learn English. What happens when you have another first language is that the this part here, the phelum, mm -hmm. you, it gets used to being in one place. So when it switches languages, uh -huh. This is sometimes uh, an area of muscle that needs to be exercised. So mm -hmm. another exercise for this one here is to raise this part of the tongue mm -hmm. against the soft palate and put the tongue tip against the back of the bottom teeth. So uh -huh. the sound is like this. Mm. Mm. That's it. Mm. Mm. Lovely. And then you just peel it away and it goes... Lovely. It's Very hard. Yeah. It's fun, but hard thing. <laughs> you really have to focus. Yes, yes. So I would recommend that, uh, but no longer 
any and on any day for a minute or so okay because you, we want to make sure the soft palate is really nice and flexible okay. but you will find now that if we say umbrella mm -hmm. umbre um, umbrella yes um and if we could say under under yes it's clearer it's clearer because we've exercised the soft palate so there is no right. sound getting trapped in the nose okay so the the whole of this area here is uh just opening up another another sound which is really nice for opening up the soft palate is what what that's it what what away away hey hey yes yes waha waha um when we were away when we were away we missed our friends we missed our friends uh okay we're looking forward to seeing winston we're looking forward to seeing Winston. Winston. That's right. Yes. Okay. So you, 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 what? Also, the what sound also, I don't know if you can notice it, but it also gets clearer when you've done that soft palate exercise. So that's a very uh, useful one to clear nasal passages as the one we've done already with the humming. Um, and it, it will help you. But the reason, the main thing, the main point of what I'm saying today is allow space inside your mouth. Mm -hmm. And relax the jaw, feel the space inside your mouth. The mm -hmm. vowels are the center of the word and they show our feelings. Yes. The consonants, all the sounds in between show the meaning. So if we can do very good consonants, but our vowels are slightly trapped, then it will sound mm -hmm. as though we're feeling a little bit shy, a little bit worried. So just find that, I don't mean to go overboard, you know, go every, very posh. <laughs> I don't mean well, that. I see. <laughs> not, not that, but if you can just, when you yawn, just feel mm. openness in your throat and just uh -huh. remember that the act ah, and the e sounds are all made here, as well as the i and the e and the a. Yeah. Yes. So that's where you need this, the open space in the mouth. Sorry, excuse Aww. the noise in the background. That's lovely. Now, my darling, you know I have to go. I'm uh, I know. go to Germany, but um, oh wow. <laughs> Go to Germany from home. Uh, no, I'm on my screen. I can't. Oh, I, yes. Yeah. Oh, you're traveling around. Yeah. While yeah. Seeing, well, whilst at all. Yes. I know. <laughs> Wonderful. I, I do love Germany, though, when I'm uh, when I when I'm able to 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 just drive around. But I also love where you are in Yorkshire. Yes, this is, uh, yes, you know, lovely, it's yeah. just going to be great. Um, Please come and visit this. Soon. I would really love to, and I'd love to meet you to meet my friends there as well, who yes, just yes. managed to get back from Australia. Oh wow, that's mm. so far. <laughs> yeah, they got stuck, um, but they were seeing their daughter. Yeah. I see, I see. Wow. No, yeah. Listen, um, can I just say, Ria, that if yes. any watching has any questions, mm -hmm. very very happy to answer them and yes. to receive any recordings they want to send me oh, if they want that's to do a little generous. bit of analysis. Yes, yes. Okay. And uh, I'll follow up in Japanese as well afterwards. Now, like uh, not afterwards, but you know, after yeah. you, you have to kind of, you know, disappear yeah, into the air. Kind of. Okay. All right. Well, well, it's just terrific. It's lovely to see you again. It was wonderful. Thank, Thank you, you so very much, much for your generous gesture. 
really no, really appreciate it. thank you it. for asking me. It was so lovely of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So okay. stay tuned, everyone. Thank but you. thank you, thank Francis. You. I'm thank really you. sorry about the noise. But to see you around. See you soon. Yeah. See you Francis. soon. Bye. 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 Bye.皆さんすいませんちょっとなんか工事の車が来てしまい大変うるさくて申し訳ありませんえっとですねここまでのところあの救コメントとかあの読みたかったんですけれどちょっとあの中断するとやりづらいということでしたのであの一気にやってもらい
芸ではないですけれど一発芸じゃないですけれど何かこう得意にできると面白いですよねまたなのでぜひぜひ頑張りたいと思います皆さん頑張っていきましょうねなんか特にこの発音とかあの発声発声と言っても今日は大きい声は出さなかったんですけれどもあのこの顎のエクササイズとか大丈夫ですかああいう感じで本当に一方的にフランシスに話してもらった回になってしまったんですけれど<笑>大丈夫でしょうかいいですかねはいじゃあ明日はちょっと決まってないんです実は。あ、バリナルフ、あ、イギリス発音本当に上品でいいですね。上品です。ね、彼女は本当にプロっていうだけあって、上品ですよね。でもいろいろできるって言ってました。アクセントリダクションもするんだけれど、アクセントを変える指導もするって言ってましたね。で、あの結構トレンドとしては、イギリス発音の俳優とかプロフェッショナルの人たちをアメリカンにするトレーニングが多いって言ってましたよ、彼女。ですです。あのなので、イギリスで活動している人の中にも結構アメリカンな発音にしなければいけない仕事があったりとかするみたいなんですよね。なので、それもすごく面白いなと思いました。私あの、アメリカ発音でも、なんだろう。一語一語が粒がすごく立っている発音ってすごく素敵だなって思いますすごく上品だし知性を感じるしなんか一語一語を大切にして話しているように聞こえるのでなんかでよくよく聞いてるとあアメリカンだっていう時とかありますよねなんかすごく素敵だなと思いますイギリス発音は確かに人にもよりますけれどもその声のお仕事をしている人とかだったら当然こうはっきりとフレーズであったりとか一語一語であったり名前であったりそういったところをこう粒を立てて、えーあのー、言えなきゃいけないでしょうからそれでねあのプロとしてやっているんであればと思いますのでぜひぜひ、あのー、ちょっとこれは今アーカイブとして残るんですけれども字幕をつけてちょっと分かりやすく皆さんその見ていただいた時にそのままエクササイズができるようにちょっと私もそれこれまで知らなかったような彼女の多分新しくこう考え出したエクササイズとかもあったと思うのではい、えー、編集していきたいと思います今日はこんな感じですかね明日どうしようかなもしかしたらフォトグラファーが来るかもしれませんで何の話をするのっていう感じなんですけど、まあ、それはお楽しみということでちょっと交渉をもう一回してみますでもしどうしてもあの都合がつかないとか技術面で問題があるということであれば私が何か考えます一緒にみんなでエクササイズしましょうかウォーミングアップからなんか始まってちょっとな,なんだろうなちょっと考えます何かリクエストがありましたらはいっていうすごい緩い回になってしまいましたが、すみません。でも、楽しんでいただけましたでしょうか。ちょっとやってみてください、本当に声の。あれいいと思うんですね。ムンムンムンってやつとか。はい。ではまた明日皆さんお会いしましょう。ありがとうございました。それでは。